Hey guys, it's Elias, and um, welcome to my first uh, reading vlog video here on the channel. So uh, today it is May 20th of 2022. It's around uh, 4.30 in the afternoon, and I just came home from school a couple of uh, minutes ago. Anyway guys, today I am really excited because I am going to be rereading one of my favorite books of all time. And this book is called Fablehaven. It's by Brandon Moe. Uh, it's the first book in a five book book series. On this YouTube channel, I actually reviewed all of the books. So if you want to check those videos out, I recommend that. But anyway, uh, today I am going to be vlogging myself as I uh, read this book. My goal is to finish the book in at least three days. Um, it's a pretty short read. It has around 380 pages. So I should be able to finish it in um, about three days if I, you know, don't get off track. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, tonight I am basically free. I don't have any, like, sports practices or anything. So I should be able to read a good 100 pages before I have to, you know, eat dinner, take a shower, and go to bed. Um, but anyway, I am going to uh, uh, go up to my bunk bed, get cozy, and I am going to start reading. So yeah, I'll update you guys in an hour or so. Alright guys, so it is the next day, um, and as you can see, I am actually on my way to a baseball tournament. Um, so I just finished packing all my stuff, and I am about to go to Milwaukee for a two-day uh, tournament. I am going to bring my book with so I can make some progress. Um, but yeah, guys, I will uh, vlog myself uh, on my journey to Milwaukee, and uh, hopefully I can fit in uh, some more uh, reading. Uh, so yeah, see you guys soon. I just arrived at my hotel, and I am really tired, guys. Uh, I just played two baseball games today, um, and I just feel, like, really tired. Anyway, guys, right now I am free for the rest of the night, so I think I am just going to get cozy in my bed, and I am going to read some more. Right now I am on page 50. Uh, in the book, and I have to say that this book is really, really good. Um, it's filled with adventure, action, and it's actually better um, than the first time I read it. Uh, so basically, so far, what is going on is we meet two main characters by the names of Kendra and Seth Sorison, and they are staying uh, with their uh, grandparents. Um, because their mom and dad have to go on a cruise. And of course, you know, Kendra and Seth don't really know much about um, their grandparents because they haven't, you know, seen them since they were four years old. Um, so they go there and they find out that their grandpa is actually hiding a big secret. So yeah, that's all I got up to. Um, I still have like 300 more pages to go, but I can't wait to read some more. Uh, but yeah, guys, that was just a quick update, and I will update you guys tomorrow. Peace.
So I just came home from my baseball tournament and I feel really tired. Um, yeah, today I played like a couple of games of baseball and I also went out to a, a, a Italian place in Wisconsin. It's called the Brat Stop and I ate like a sausage there. Um, but anyway, I came home a couple of hours ago. I went shopping and I also have been reading for the past hour. Um, so yeah, right now I'm on page 70. Um, hopefully by the end of tonight, I can reach the 150 page mark. That's my goal. Honestly, I want to finish this book by tomorrow. I think if I really push myself and, you know, try to read as much as possible, I think I will be able to finish it like by tomorrow night. Um, but in order to do that, I have to stay focused. I can't go on my phone too much and get distracted. And I have to try to bring my book like everywhere I go. Um, but anyway, guys, the book has been great. I have no complaints. Um, it's really good. It's filled with adventure and I can't put it down. Um, so yeah, that's just a quick update, guys. Just letting you know. Uh, I am going to read some more, and I think I will update you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, when I uh, am getting closer to the end of the book. Um, but yeah, with that said, I will see you guys in a couple of hours. Hey guys, it's Elias, and as you can see, it is the next day. I just came home from school a couple of hours ago. And I just came back from uh, baseball practice. Um, but anyway, guys, I am about to read more from my book. Uh, today in school, I actually made quite a lot of progress from Fablehaven. Um, I actually read about 150 pages. So I think I will be able to finish this book by tonight since I only have like 90 pages left. Anyway, the book has been really good. Uh, basically, Kendra and Seth just find out that their grandpa actually is the caretaker of this uh, mythical wildlife preserve called Fablehaven. And Fablehaven is this wildlife uh, sanctuary. Um, and in there, there lives all sorts of magical creatures like centaurs, goblins, trolls, all of that kind of fairy tale stuff. And basically, in order to, you know, see these um, creatures, you have to drink this uh, special milk. So Kendra and Seth, one day, uh, they uh, drink this special milk, and all of a sudden, they're able to see all of these uh, mythical creatures. Uh, in this book, Seth does get into some trouble. He actually catches a a fairy and he actually gets punished and he actually gets turned into a walrus which I found um, actually very funny but anyway something bad has just happened we uh, find out that Mario the witch has actually escaped her prison and she is on the loose in the real world uh, Kendra and Seth's grandparents have also been kidnapped uh, so it's up to Kendra and Seth to hopefully, you know, find some information on how they can save their grandparents and hopefully uh, stop this evil witch. Um, but yeah, that's where I kind of stopped. Like I said, I only have about 90 pages left, so I can't wait to see how this story is going to end. Uh, anyway, guys, I am going to eat some dinner. I'm going to read some more and I will update you when I finish the book. Hey guys, um, it is the next day and I just woke up about 20 minutes ago. As you can probably see from my voice and um, how I look. Um, anyway guys, I have some good news. Uh, five minutes ago, I just finished Fablehaven, which means I have officially reread uh, this first book in the series. Uh, I mean, this book, um, just really surprised me. You know, when I first read the book, it actually wasn't that good, really. 
But then when I reread it, my expectations and my thoughts on this book have just really increased. Because I haven't, you know, read this book in over a year, so I kind of forgot most of the stuff that happened. So it was actually really fun and, you know, very cool getting to, you know, reread this book again and meet some of the uh, old characters. Um, but yeah, at the end of the book, a lot of stuff happened. There was actually a big battle at this old search. Uh, there was demons, there was fairies, there was attacks. Um, but at the end, everything worked out. Uh, Kendra and Seth found their missing grandparents. They stopped this evil demon named Bahumet. And at the end of the book, they actually return home. Um, but yeah, I think I am going to reread the second book in the series uh, very uh, soon. Um, so you guys can stay updated for a reading vlog video on that. But anyway, guys, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you on another video. Peace out.